I'm gonna give you a, a one step that you can do today. Read. That women. That who? That women. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. I'm Joseph. Nice to meet you, Brittany. That women, my sister Brittany, read. Adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now, you can start adorning yourself in modest apparel. What do you think modest apparel is? Okay, I'm gonna show you what modest apparel is. Modest apparel, by definition, is not is being covered up, not being showing, you know, oh, all know, yeah, exactly. That's so what my job, my job is Christiane and Evangelio. That's what my job requires me to dress like. I'm not supposed to be dressed like this. Exactly. So you supposed to be according to the Bible. Forget your job. According to the Bible, you supposed to be dressed modestly. Right. Well, give me do give me uh, Deuteronomy real quick. That's what they're trying to show. I'm they're trying to show you it too right like, now. I'm trying to show you too. God is trying to show you it. Read this, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Real quick, for my sister, Brittany. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. What do you think that means? A woman should not wear that which pertains to men. What do you think that means? Exactly. Exactly. See, you already know these things. Right. If you knew better, you'd do better. That's the problem. Give me for uh, Reverend Romans 12 yeah, and verse 2 real quick. Romans 12 and 2 real Throw quick. Some water on me. If you knew better, you'd do better. You see what I'm saying? So why you not doing better? What? So you don't fear God. If you fear God, you would choose to do better. Whenever I do something wrong, I repent and I say, I learn from this. Okay, so so you didn't take the pants off though. You learned. You said you learned from the lessons, but you ain't take the pants off. You still wearing them, so you ain't learned from it. No, not the pants. I'm saying like right now it was because I was up and down with my kids and my husband. You know, like, I'd be running around. I have a one year old. Uh huh. And like my husband don't like to dress in certain way. Okay, so you should dress what modest then. Yeah. You you can you can look, be able to put on a dress. Look, like he gets mad. Like he he's the jealous type. <laughs> you should be able to put on a dress, right? So, but so you can learn he'll get from. Mad, like, he'll get mad. He'll get mad like, about you putting on a dress. People started started treating me with respect because of the way that I started dressing uh -huh, this week. Uh huh. And with I the saw, pants on or the dress? No, the dress. Okay, the dress. Okay, I'm and listening. I saw a lot of envy, and it it wasn't because of the dress. It was because of what they were spending. You know, like, like oh, so she's getting stuff and I'm not getting stuff, and they're getting stuff. Type. A lot of envy is a lot of. So, so, so a lot of envy, and but you, you shouldn't really care about what other people think. No, I don't Only care. thing, the they thing, the thing about it. Listen, what, listen, what I'm saying. Listen, what I'm saying. You should, you should care about what this Bible says. God says you should be in a dress. You should put on a dress. That's what your husband. You, you honoring your husband by putting on a dress. You see what I'm saying? So you should be, you should be modest uh, dress. That's one thing you can fix. Give me uh, give me Romans real quick. Romans, Romans chapter twelve verse two, and be not conformed to this world. The Bible tells us not to be conformed to this world. You see what I'm saying? The world is doing what? All type of things. Like your hair. Your hair is colored because the world does those things. You learned that from the world. My hair is not colored because of that. So that that. My hair is colored because I don't like to follow people, and I like to. Well, I, I'm going to be honest with you. When I was growing up, the first person I seen with colored hair was white. I got to just be all the way honest with you. I, don't I have that. never really seen... When I see somebody with the same hair color as me or something, uh -huh. I automatically have to go dye it. See? I don't follow nobody. See, the white man made that, that, that dye up. I don't follow nobody. Give me, uh... Like, give me, uh... I don't like nobody following Give me Leviticus 31 real quick. Uh, 13. 13. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you what God says. Because God don't like that. I, me, personally, I like to do the things that God wants me to do. Right. When he say I don't like something, I just let I just let it go. I don't I don't mess with it. Why? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to show the, I'm trying to show my creator I follow, I that I care word. about the things that he No you don't. I, them pants is not the way of God. Your hair oh, color I, is not the way of God. You smoking, that's not the way of God. I'm just telling you, that's not the way of God. The way of God I'm trying to show you. You gotta I'm listen though. Read this. Leviticus chapter thir thir verse thirty. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. You see what I'm saying? The Bible says yeah, color is in the Bible. God said, if your hair is yellow, read on. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. 
Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. God said that that's unclean. So when you dye your hair, God is calling you unclean. Right. Our people right. never heard these things. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because your natural hair is beautiful. That's right. You, you see what I'm saying? That's it's right. the natural hair, the, the natural part of a woman is beautiful. Her hair, when she's in a modest dress, not showing everything, right. she's beautiful. Oh, I love you, you, you see what I'm saying? I love my life like that. Ever since I it's, dress, give me Hebrews 10 and verse 26. I saw a lot of respect. That's what I, you should, so you should, like so you should love that. You should love that because why? Because your God told you to do it. We don't care about what everybody oh, thinks. That's right. That's right. We don't my care coach. about what everybody say. We care about what this Bible says. Right. Read. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. When you heard that you were supposed to put on a dress and you didn't, or let's just say you did. You said you did, but then you put the pants back on. Lord have mercy. What's going on? I'm not gonna be running, jumping, and and doing like that with a dress on. But the pants is an abomination to God. He already told right. you that. He don't like it. He don't like it. He hate it. He right. can't stand it. Especially his daughters is doing it. It's not right. That's right. He don't want you to do that. He don't care about you jumping and bumping and rumping and whatever you're doing. He care about what you what he told you to do. He like he, he your father. That's right. right. He like, he your father. He told you, hey, don't wear a pants. Right. That's the man's thing. I gave you the dress. That's so right. he don't care about uh uh your un your uncomfortableness. None of that. That's he right. gave you a commandment. You gotta do it. You see what I'm saying? Bring it out. From so from here this day forth, you can't wear not no more pants at all. Right. No more pants. Right. Give up the pants, all right? That's Our women right. love that com that custom. That came from the white woman in, this, in the 50s and the 60s. Right. They right. gave you the pants. You right. was wearing dresses before then. Right. 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 Now, in, in the 20, uh, 22, 23, now we want all... Oh, it's, it's somebody will rape me. I didn't hear so many excuses about not wearing a dress. Somebody might rape me. Somebody might do this. Come on. They can't rape you in the pants? Yeah. What are you talking about? Right. If they gonna rape you, they gonna rape you. Right. Like you, it, that, that has no, that you. A lot of people make a lot of excuses. That's what we do. We say the hair. Oh, I, I do this because I don't want to be like people. Right. So from this day forth, you hearing these scriptures. Read this again. Hebrews chapter ten, verse twenty six. For if we sin willfully, you are sinning willfully after this. You already know what what it is. You already know you're supposed to wear pants. You already know you ain't, you, you ain't supposed to color your hair. You're sinning win, willfully. Read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. Uh -huh. There remained of no more sacrifice. For our sin. sacrifice, hold on. Our sacrifice is Jesus Christ. He the one that died on the cross for us. If he would have never did that, we wouldn't be back, we wouldn't be able to come back into the fold of God. Right. So it would be no more sacrifice for what? For sin. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment. Again. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. I really want you to get it. Read. For if we sin willfully. We cannot sin willfully out here. The churches teach that we can. The churches think that, uh, teach that what? The laws are done away with. We, we, we ain't got, that's why we out here doing the things we doing. We was taught this stuff when we was yay high. The right. Pentecostals teach that. Exactly. We was taught this from yay high. That we, 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 we ain't got to, we, we don't have to keep no laws. It's just love, 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 love. But God said, give me love. Drop that, give me love. I'm, sh I'm showing, I'm proving all things out of this Bible. I know you gotta go, that's why I'm trying to keep you here. As long no, as I my, can. My sons right. are waiting for me in the car. I was just smoking out. Okay, last door. scripture, last scripture, last scripture. Here, here it is, I want you to know what love is. When you say you love God, I want you to know what it is. Read. First John chapter five, verse three. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God that we do what? That we keep his commandment. That we do what? That we keep his commandment. It's a commandment for a woman to not wear pants. Yes, it's a commandment right. for you not to color your hair. Right. If you yes, say right. you love God, you're going to do what? That we keep his commandments. Yes, right. And his commandments are not grieving. It ain't hard to do. That's right. Yes, right. You can take them pants off and wear a dress. It's easy. Right. You can color your hair back the same way. It's easy. Right. You can stop smoking. Right. You can stop smoking because, give me that, First Corinthians real quick. I'm going to show you that real quick. Smoking clouds the mind. That's right. Smoke, our, look, our forefathers and our foremothers That's picked the things that we smoke. Listen to what I'm saying. Our for the reason why we're going through things is because of sin. 
The reason why we, we hurt our mentally, we hurt spiritually, is because we keep breaking God's laws. We That's keep right. bumping and jumping on our heads. That's, right. That's the reason why we hurt. We have to come back to the commandments. That's how we tr truly live. That's what the Bible says. We going through these things because of sin. We are depressed. We have been beaten down. We have been robbed. We have been spoiled. Everything been taken from us. Right. This is the reason why, because of sin. Right. We are the rulers of this planet, but we can't come back to being our rulers if we keep breaking commandments. That's God right. put us in these things. Why? Be he, he did these things because we transgressed. Right. Read this. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. You gotta you know. that smoking. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. God said the Israelites are the temple of him, of, of God. Read. Right. And that the spirit of God. His spirit, read. Dwelleth in you. Dwelleth in you. Dwelleth in me. Dwelleth in all of us. That's, That's where right. his spirit right. dwells in us. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man or woman that defiles his temple, read. Him shall God destroy. And you wonder why we getting cancer. No, you wonder why we die of heart disease, lung disease. Because we are destroying right, his temple. Right. That's right. Right. You see what I'm saying? You got to put down this, the, uh, the smoking. Right. You got to. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is